In the United States, sweet sorghum is grown for livestock feed and also used as a sweetener in the form of a syrup. In India, the sweet juice inside the plant stalk is turned into ethanol and used as fuel. This has spurred William Rooney and his team at Texas A&M to work with sorghum. They say it grows faster than corn and can produce more ethanol per plant. In the near future, as we move forward, uh, you will see these types of crops become more and more prominent. Today, nearly all the ethanol in the United States comes from corn. It's widely used as a gasoline additive here, but using corn-based ethanol has not stopped gasoline prices from rising. And researchers are experimenting with algae, grasses, and plant stalks as biofuels. Gene Stevens at the College of Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources at the University of Missouri works with sorghum. We produce as much ethanol with the corn as we did with sweet sorghum, but the only, only advantage was, was we used less fertilizer with the sweet sorghum. It may be that uh, sweet sorghum may have a niche in some of those uh, soils that aren't so productive. Also, producing ethanol from sorghum uses less energy than corn, says Mark Winslow with the nonprofit International Crops Research Institute. The process is, yields about eight times more energy than it consumes, so it's a much more energy efficient way to produce ethanol. Critics of corn-based ethanol production say it has contributed to rising food prices because of the amount of grain used to make the fuel. That explains in part why the search is on to find other biofuel sources. I think you're going to hear more about the crops that are starting to make sense. Among them, sorghum, says Rooney, a proven source of ethanol with more potential than corn. Paul Sisko, VOA News.